Jackson Holliday's journey to professional baseball started back in 2022 when he was taken number one overall by the Baltimore Orioles out of Stillwater High School in Oklahoma. He went on to sign for a club record $8.19 million. For many, this came as a shock because Jackson Holliday wasn't the clear-cut favorite to secure the top spot. The odds-on favorite was actually Tamar Johnson, who's currently with the Pittsburgh Pirates. In fact, when Holliday graduated high school, he was ranked the fifth best available player in the high school ranks. Right away, MLB Pipe Pipeline ranked Holiday the 14th best prospect in all of baseball. Just three weeks later, we got our initial glimpse of Holiday as he made his debut in the Florida Complex League. In just eight rookie ball games, he hit safely in seven and displayed his advanced bat. He hit 409 with an OPS over 1100, hit a homer and racked up 10 walks in 22 at bats. As the Complex League came to a close, the Orioles promoted Holiday to Low A Delmarva. He ended his 2022 season playing in a brief 12 game stint and finished his first pro season hitting 297 with a 9-11 OPS in 20 games. Fast forward to 2023 where at the age of 19, Jackson Holiday would have a season no one expected, climbing three levels reaching AAA. After the graduation of a few top 10 prospects, Holiday swiftly rose to become the number one prospect in all of baseball. The Orioles opted to start the 19-year-old in Delmarva where he concluded his 2022 season. The shortstop hit an impressive 396 with two home runs, 16 RBIs, three stolen bases, and 14 walks. Holiday reached base in every game even though he went hitless in two. Among his 14 games, six were multi-hit including one with four hits and three with four RBIs each. His outstanding performance quickly earned him a promotion to high A. With 25 total games in low A, Holiday had the second fastest promotion to high A amongst infielders surpassed by only Jordan Westberg who was promoted after just 20 games. He concluded his time in low A with an elite walk rate of over 20% and an absurd 226 WRC+. Holiday's 57 games spent in high A average would be the longest stint at any level this year, and once again he proved the stick is ready for the next level. After a somewhat pedestrian start, Holiday went on a tear hitting safely in 19 of 21 games played in May and bumped his average from 190 to 359. He achieved several career firsts during this stretch recording his first 5 hit game and his first 6 RBI game of his young career. In June we witnessed a struggling Holiday as he only managed to record 5 extra base hits for the month and hit 226. However, one consistent bright spot even even during a minor slump with the bat has been Holiday's ability to draw walks, as he's drawn 20 walks in 84 at bats. Holiday returned to form to start the month of July and had his second five hit game in high A. This performance prompted the Orioles to make a significant decision. They opted to send Holiday to double A less than a year after being drafted. The news broke while Holiday was participating in the MLB Futures game. In his 57 high A games with Aberdeen, Holiday hit 314 with five home runs, 35 ribbies, and a 940 OPS. What's even more remarkable is that despite a slump that lasted nearly a month, he still managed to score 52 runs and draw 50 walks in 57 games. Up to this point spanning both lower levels, Holiday was hitting an impressive 331 with a 989 OPS in just 71 games. He racked up 17 doubles, 6 triples, 7 home runs and had 51 RBIs. Remarkably, he had nearly as many walks as strikeouts and also managed to swipe 20 bags. At just 19 years old, Jackson Holiday, nearly 5 years younger than the AA competition was about to embark on a journey into what scouts and executives often refer to as the toughest level of the minor leagues. If you're wondering why, it's because AAA often serves as a place for players who are either ready for the big leagues or those who move up and down from the major league club. This is why we frequently see players making the leap from AA directly to the big leagues, as teams often believe if a player is performing well at the AA level, they can compete in the major leagues. Holiday embraced the challenge of facing more advanced pitching and arguably delivered the best performance at double-A. He remained consistent at the plate recording hits in 28 of the 36 games, including 12 multi-hit games. In a surprise to no one, he achieved his third five-hit game of the season during this stretch. After just 53 games in double-A Bowie, Holiday was now one step away from the big leagues. In just 36 games in double-A, he hit 338 with three home runs and nine doubles. Up to this point, Holiday was fantastic, slashing 333, 451, and 517 in 107 games across three levels. Before Holiday Holiday could even step onto the field, he encountered his first unique challenge. After his promotion, Holiday attempted to check into a hotel in Norfolk. However, just as he was about to get his room, he was asked for ID, and the hotel staff informed him he couldn't check in because he wasn't 21 years old. In a humorous turn of events, Holiday asked if his mom could check him in, even though she was back in Oklahoma. Eventually, Jackson explained that he had just been called up by the Orioles to play baseball, and he was able to secure a room. With that first challenge behind him, Holiday could now focus on 
the task at hand, facing opponents who were either major league ready or had already played in the big leagues. Holiday joined the tide for the remaining 18 games of the regular season as rumors of potential promotions to the big club swirled. With this promotion, Holiday became a part of the most talented affiliate in minor league baseball as the tide's roster included five of the Orioles' top seven prospects, not including Holiday. In his first eight games, he looked overmatched going hitless in five of those games and jumped out the gate hitting 152. However, he quickly made adjustments and ended the season on a high note, hitting safely in eight of his last 10 games, with five of those being multi-hit. This stretch boosted his average by nearly 115 points. Holiday posted a 267 average in AAA with two home runs and nine RBIs and 75 at-bats. Notably, he continued to display his excellent plate discipline, drawing 16 walks in 18 games. At this point, any thought of a promotion to Baltimore were no longer in the picture. The Norfolk Tide had a successful playoff run winning the International League Championship their first since 1985. They advanced to play in the AAA Championship game and capped off a tremendous season by defeating the Oklahoma City Dodgers to secure their second title in franchise history. Holiday hit 176 during the postseason run. All in all, Jackson had a stellar season playing in 125 games across four levels, hitting 323 with a 422 on on-base percentage and had an OPS of 941. He racked up 30 doubles, 9 triples, and had 24 stolen bases to go along with his 12 home runs and 75 ribbies. Pretty impressive for a 19-year-old. In the field, Holiday was solid, posting a 968 fielding percentage and over a thousand innings played. Notably, for the first time in his career, he played games at both second and third base, starting in 20 games at second and two games at the hot corner. Jackson wrapped up the season taking home hardware as he was named the Orioles Minor League Player of the Year, earned a prospect hit of the year and won both Baseball America and Minor League Baseball's Player of the Year honors. Are we potentially looking at the next big shortstop in the American League East?